All right, we are in business. Okay, welcome everyone um, to our district, North Colony School District uh, Wellness Committee, Health and Wellness Committee. My name is Dave Statlander, and um, I serve a few roles in the district. I am the supervisor of health, physical education, and athletics, and I co-chair this com committee along with um, Alex Clement and uh, Lisa Ostrowski. Um, Alex, you and Lisa want to introduce yourselves and kind of Oh, you I can't can see it. us, right? You could just see the PowerPoint. Um, can you see me? You can't see me. I can see you above, but I don't know if everybody else can. We can, oh, okay. we can... I can see you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, <laughs> At least I'll you know, if time allows, I'd like to go around and have the, the people that are in attendance today um, introduce themselves. But I want to push that to the end just in case our conversation goes right up to the end because I don't want to uh, miss out on any of the discussions that could occur as a, as a result of the topics we're going to talk about. Um, but thank you all. Um, I will say that one of our initiatives coming into this year has been that we wanted to get increased membership um, and attendance and um, get a, a cross section of our North Colony community. And um, as people have reached out, uh, I think thanks in large part to our communications department helping us with getting the word out via numerous social media sites, um, the district website, um, Parent Square, Facebook, you name it. Um, we've had a, a, a great um, return. Um, so, you know, the distribution list is up well over 50 people right now, which is probably double what we had in the past. And, you know, we're looking to continue to grow. Um, I'll get into it um, a little later in the, the meeting about how you, what your roles could be as members and as the people that are going to watch this later, um, what their roles could be as past um, as well. There will be a follow up um, form where you'll have an opportunity to sign up for some um, some subcommittees that we can tackle some of the initiatives that come as a result of some of the questionnaires that were filled out. Um, but again, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, I want to go to my agenda here and we're going to start out and I can't see you at the moment. So um, if you want to use chat, I should, should have said that you're welcome to type into the chat. You can either do it to everybody or you can direct it at individual people. Um, but we definitely want this to be an interactive uh, discussion and not just like lecture format. We're definitely going to spend time each, each meeting having various presenters talk and those will kind of be the the seeds that that will lead to um more more things more initiatives being uh tackled so i gotta admit somebody all right so without further ado um alex and amber are going to um oh, they're coming in like crazy now alex and amber are going to start things off with a discussion about the recap of the district harvest fest so take it away. You're welcome. Okay. So um, there's been a lot of things going on um, around the Harvest Fest. I'm just going to start off by talking about the Farm to Institution grant that we got. So um, it's through Finesse, which I'll explain a little bit after this. But this is our team. So we have Amber Koss, who's a Shaker High School teacher, Erica McGowan, um, Lisa Ostrowski, Director of Food Services, uh, me, Alex, and the Assistant Director of Food Services, uh, Patty Comas from District Office, John Barker, who it, um, is at Forts Ferry Farm, and Ivana, I don't know how to say her name, at Forts Ferry Farm as well. Um, so this picture took place, um, we, we, um, we had a retreat in the, at the end of last year's school year in June. So only five members of our team could go, um, but this is some of us in the picture. Um, this just tells you what the New York Farm to School Institute um, is about. Okay, so the New York Farm to School Institute is a year long professional development opportunity for food service staff, educators, administrators, and community partners in New York schools to develop and refine their farm to school programs and to help bring more New York grown food into the cafeteria and classrooms. So then I'll tell you a little bit about our goals. So they were broken down between goals for the cafeteria, classroom, and community. So in the cafeteria, we really wanted to focus on New York Thursdays and scratch cooking trainings. 
Um, and these pictures actually show a little bit about um, that, how that's going. We've been partnering with Fort's Ferry Farm. In the fall, we got uh, around 300 pounds of squash from John and we um, cut, cleaned, prepared it all. And we did like a butternut squash mac and cheese. On the bottom right hand corner is um, some salads we made with the greens um, provided by Fort's Ferry Farm. Um, in the classroom, their goals were a uh, cooking club relaunch and maximizing shaking guard, shaker garden as a teaching tool. And our community goals were to expand farm tours and the fall family festival. I don't know, Amber, do you want to talk about the fall family festival? Uh, sure. Uh, so uh, it was an event that we held here in October, um, and it was really meant to be kind of uh, bringing together of of our whole community, kind of centered around um, food, harvest time, gardening, um, and all of that. So we had some local um, restaurant tours and chefs come and prepare a, a food item that um that showcased an ingredient from the garden uh, that people could have a sample of and try. And we had um, many members of our school community come together and showcase their talents. You can see some, some of our art department here. Um, we had a lot of different art opportunities, leaf painting, pumpkin painting. Um, we had a face painting, and then we had um, somebody doing poetry on demand. We had our music department show up in force, and we had many talented students uh, performing the, as the night went on. And, um, you know, we had members from Fort's Ferry Farm come, and we planted garlic, uh, which happens in the fall, to be harvested in the summer. So that worked out really well. We planted a whole bed um, of garlic that should be ready in July. And... Um, I don't know, it's just a really, I think, a great event that brought together just many aspects um, of our entire school community in a really positive way. Uh, the attendance was great. We hope to make this an annual event and, you know, we're open to thoughts, ideas, and suggestions moving forward. Um, did I forget anything? No, I think that that was good. Um, I, this is Michelle DeChavo. I'm on the Board of Education and the Wellness Committee. And I just wanted to say I went to the Fall Festival and I thought it was totally awesome. And I tried all the food and um, I just loved like to see the raised garden beds and just to see the participation of all the students. And I, it was just, it was really great. And I would love um, to, I don't know how to like, get more people to come but I just thought it was so awesome and it was just like it was it was a great way to bring everybody together and if there's any way that we can I mean I know that I, like I personally got an invitation but I'm on the board so that doesn't say much but um you know if we can get more like elementary kids to come because I thought it was great to have all of those uh the different restaurants who participated to get kids to try different foods because I know that like El Faro, I think it was El Faro, I actually had, I went and had dinner there the next week um, oh. because it made me think of it. And I, because I never think of going down there and um, like they had couscous, it's really couscous, which nobody ever has. Right. And then they had a Japanese melon thing that was delicious. And I'm like totally into food and, you know, having um, um, uh, Pernomo, Dominic Pernomo there, that was really great. And the baskets and just everything was really great. My daughter helped with um, the art stuff and the music was great. And it was just, I, I just thought it was just an incredible collaboration of all the different departments. And I was just really, really impressed. And if you need any help next year, that's totally my jam. And I would love to help you in any way. And um, just let me know because I was just, I was really impressed and I thought it was just a really great way to get the community kind of to come out and see what everybody does in all the different departments. So, um, so thank you so much for all of the effort. Cause you could tell that there was a huge amount of effort that was put into it. And I know Linda Harrison went and Mary Nardilla was there. And I know that, um, Kathy was there and she was really impressed as well. So it was, it was really awesome and great jobs. So thank you for doing that. Michelle, thank I want to, 
I want to thank, I don't want to cut off Alex or whoever else, but um, I want to thank you for not only representing the board today, but also for being the brave person to um, to be the first to, to kind of get the ball rolling, because that's a great example of the type of thing that leads to action. So, you know, you, you just pointed out a couple of things that I've made note of, which are like, and I, I want to hear from others because I don't have all the answers, but like how to get more involvement. And so that's why we we bring this cross section together so that we can hear from people. And if you're unable or un unwilling, you know, sometimes people are shy in, in group settings. But if you have things that come to mind after the fact, you know, everyone's got each other's email. So feel free to reach out myself, Alex, um, Lisa, whoever you, you feel comfortable with. And, and share your ideas with us. Um, so like as an example of how things can can blossom, so to speak, um, I just made a note of a couple of things you said with regards to like Ilfaro and Dominic and Forts Ferry Farm, who's been a fantastic partner for food services and um, even came out to Bout Hills where we were doing elementary health lesson on, on garlic um, with Jen Moran and um, helped with, provide the, the garlic and, and was teaching the kids about how to plant garlic in the fall. And like, they've been amazing. So like, you know, in addition to sharing out the recording with communications um, of this meeting and the topics that we cover, I feel like I can include, you know, get the contact information for those folks I just listed and include them. So they can kind of see like that, you know, people are talking about this and, um, you know, different ideas are coming about and how can we promote this event and get more people, as you said, Michelle, um, involved and others in the group, be brave, feel free to interject either in the group chat or just unmute yourself and, and have at it at any time. Hi, um, so I work in multiple elementary schools and I think it would be great. I know, you know, I'm at Bout Hills and we have some raised beds and I know Latham Ridge has really worked on um, getting some raised beds and getting um, veggies and everything grown. Um, but to have this fall fest um, advertise more, it might be good to have um, field trips over to the high school and, you know, have the kids really have something hands on that they can go home and tell their families and say, oh, I want to show you this. And that way it brings more families there. Um, just a thought. I, I, I love that idea. And I would just say um, you can anybody who is interested, who works in the other schools, who is interested in bringing students to the high school to see the Shaker Garden um, can reach out to me, uh, Amber Cost, and I am happy to kind of arrange those things. I'm actually headed over to Loudonville tomorrow with to Jen Moran and John Barker from the farm as well to discuss maybe putting um, a bed there as well. So, um, you know, I, I do think this this festival did come together fairly quickly um, and we weren't sure how it was going to like you know the courtyard is big but we we didn't know how it was going to hold people and and the sound and all that so I think this was a good um, kind of get our feet wet but now that people are aware I would say yeah definitely reach out let us know ideas you have um, and while I have have you here one thing that we had kind of thought about was maybe would a Saturday be better than an, an evening um, you know because we were up against the the darkness and um mm. It was a short period of time and weeknights are tough for families and things like that. So I know sure. my own daughter had a field hockey game and that I had to miss to, to be there. So, um, you know, if you have those ideas, certainly reach out to us and we'd love to talk about it. My, my thing says that there's only 10 minutes remaining in the meeting. Does anybody yeah, have to say and that? Yeah. I just got that notification and you know that's that is problematic. That's a change this year. Um okay. that I don't have any control over, but um I will I will look into it for the next time. But I'll be sure to, you know, we might have to cut things a little short. And then um, like I said, I want to make sure I get out enough information at the okay. end here so that we can take the next steps from this moving forward. So are okay. you guys you guys got more to talk about, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So then um, then we did the Big Apple Crunch at the Shaker High School. So this was the ninth annual statewide coordinated crunch. So um, it's brought, brought on by Farman. Um, it, and participants across the state took the pledge online by registering to bite into a New York State grown apple with a coordinated crunch on October 26, 2023, an effort to bring more awareness to the need to keep farmers farming and inspire the community to eat local. So I have a little video, it's very short. 
but it's really cute that communication's made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, those are out. <laughs> okay. Alex, is it playing on your end? Oh, yeah, it didn't play for you? No, I thought you were oh, trying to get so it going. So how do I do that? Well, how about because we're a little short on time, okay. why don't you keep you know talking through your slides and I want to get to some other things too, okay. and then we can revisit that another time. Okay, so the last slide is on the update on the gardens, which is Amber again. Um, yeah, I'll be short because, uh, but we do, there are gardens at many of our schools now, uh, varying in size, varying in, you know, type of, of garden, but most of them are raised beds. I believe Blue Creeks is more in ground. Um, but like I said, I, at least my personal goal and, and from talking with many other people in the district, I think it's, it's a, an overall goal for many, uh, would be to have some sort of garden, um, opportunity at each school in the district and we're really close so um so just keep keep moving towards it and uh it should be good that's it all right um so i'm actually going to take a second here um if you want to try to play that video again i'm going to create because this really isn't enough time to to do things that we want to do so i'm just going to create another um event to, so we can get through till at least four o'clock so um, you, I'll send a invite out to everybody. So when this one runs out, you can switch over. I know why. Um, what if you just the um, Sorry, I'm trying to. No worries. I just need oh. a minute anyway. Okay, so on a new I feel show. like I should be able to help you, but I don't remember. It's been so long since I've. All right, let me try to do this. Okay, new. So this. Can you see it now? Anyone? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I sent out the new invite too, Bob. Sorry for that. Okay, good, we can see it. Can't hear it, but we can see it. <laughs> it looks like fun. <laughs> I don't know how to get pictures are worth a thousand words when you share there's a little tiny button for sound when you initially share a video it's bizarre with zoom you have to specifically say you want the sound with the video as well when you share your screen with zoom it doesn't it's okay but I'm just saying for future purposes yeah. you don't have to do that with google Meet. oh right here wait, wait I got it yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, yeah. let me try one more time, one more time. Okay. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Fight it. Good one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. That looked like a lot of fun. All right. <laughs> it's cute. All right. Excellent. All right. And I don't mean to be rude or mm -hmm. cut anybody off, but um, what I want to do is, uh, Lisa, if you're ready there, I'm going to share the screen that has the district website and um, and you can start talking. And as I said, everybody, if you check your email, you should have received a new invite. And uh, we'll switch over here because we're going to run out in four minutes. And again, I apologize. You know, technology is grand when it works the way you intended. Okay, so just quickly, uh, the new website is awesome for the district. They have a health and wellness page. Um, the first part of it is kind of a little blurb of really about what we are about. And uh, so and then it goes on to more nursing information, that type of thing. 
So one of our goals now this year is to work with communications so that we could put um, some of these vi uh, these meetings here, the, the link to it, so that we can always refer back to it or those who can't make the meeting can be informed. And also just any more, any other documentation that we need could definitely be here. And if anybody is looking for information, especially moving forward um, with these free for all meals, we're being inundated with uh, families who have children with food allergies. And we've got to figure out how we could best serve um, those students. So part of that would be here too. So we want to incorporate all of this with the uh, the wellness page into um, for this year. So as one of our big goals as as the co chair people for the um, the wellness committee. Um, the other thing that we need to do is we need to form a subcommittee of people to look at our wellness policy. When we derived the wellness policy in 2016, it's very general. So we'll probably need that to, to stay relatively general, but take into everything that's happened since 2016 in when we look at our regulations. So we're gonna need a subcommittee that would work on that. And we will be able to put, you know, put that information and put our policy uh, right here on this page as well. So it's easy access. We do have it on the food service page, but we wanna make sure that every kind of all of our health and wellness is uh, in one page, as well as getting the, uh, the you know, the nurses involved in looking at um, our regulations too, especially when it comes to kids with, with allergies. Um, when we first did the policy, um, we did have a couple of nurses um, work with us on that. So short and simple, that's where we are. And uh, whenever you need us. Yes, so Mike McKellar, that was Mike McKellar, everybody. He supervises amongst, he does, a lot of things, but um, one of his jobs is that he supervises the nurses, which we're happy to have great representation from on our committee. And um, as as Lisa pointed out, like just, you know, there's a lot of information on here on this page. But I think that in addition to updating the information from the health and wellness uh, committee's perspective in the district policy, um, I think that we can work with communications and Mike, uh, we can work together to try to make this such that it's a little less um it's a little more clear because like the word health right there could be confusing to me and i because i supervise health education but we have our health and wellness committee which does um have nursing component but like it's it's kind of a separate entity and the way it reads now can be i i feel this is one person's opinion um you know it's just a little confusing we got a lot of information kind of um living in the same area. So I think that there's ways we could get together and talk about how that looks. And then, because again, we have a good cross section of people here, we could have you guys potentially take a look at it and ask, does it make sense to you as, as someone that's, that's visiting this site so that we get more input on that. And again, um, you know, everyone's input is welcome at any time. Um, we are down to less than one minute and we still got to hear from Mike McKella. He's going to give us an overview of something. And then I want to talk to everybody about next steps. So at this time, I'm going to end the recording and just ask that please, please.